Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of let Akim out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line of your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. A hey, Shalom. It's your brother Halakia coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And this time, man, I'm going to go into some more, uh, basically on the, con not, not too long of a lesson, just pull a few precepts on uh, these blind followers of the so-called Bishop Nathaniel of the IUIC, just following anything this man spews out of his mouth when it doesn't add up to uh, to, uh, to what the Most High has actually spoken. So we're going to start right here, Matthew 15 and 13 says what? But he, but he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father have not planted shall be rooted up. And this is what you're about to see. A lot of these people who know they're Israelites are going to be rooted up because it's a plant that the Most High hasn't, he hasn't planted. And this is why you see them following all type of wayward doctrines, man. That doesn't add up to what the scriptures actually say. You see, the Most High has given them over to false leaders to lead them in a way that's going to get them destroyed. Uh, uh, unless he has mercy upon them and allows them to see the light to repent. But a lot of these Israelites who know they're Israelites are, are being led to their destruction, man. Verse 14 says what? Well, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. If the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. And this is what we see happening. You have blind followers of, uh, of the blind Bishop Nathaniel of the IUIC just following him because of his prestige and his, 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 his clout that he's garnered here on this side in Esau's kingdom, man. You see, they're just blindly following anything this man says when it clearly doesn't add up to biblical prophecy or anything that the Most High has spoken. You see, but it's going to lead to their destruction, man. And at the end of the day, the Most High has given them over to that. You see, because you have us true followers of Yahweh Shah who are being led in the light, who are being led and, and, and built up in the image of Yahweh Shah. You see? You see, but you have these people who know they're Israelites following all these guys who are completely off. You see, that's all of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and they're going to be led to their destruction by these false leaders. Now, let's get another one. Let's get Isaiah 6 and 9. It says what? And he said, go and tell this people, hear, indeed, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. They, they, they see that we're bringing up the scriptures the right way, the proper way. But they got a problem with what? How we look. How we rebuke other camps when they go off. You see, they call us haters and they call us bums. But everything that we're saying is, is what add, is actually what adds up to what the scriptures say. Because we're breaking it down according to what the Most High has taught us through the Holy Spirit by way of the men that he set up to teach us. Men or the... And the head of our camp, the head of Apostle Hart, he taught Bishop Nate. But Nate is doing what? He's remixing the doctrine because more than likely he's, he, he's taking a bag and now he's doing what his handlers tell him to do. This is why he's coming with these wayward doctrines, these off-ass breakdowns, man. You see? We're breaking this thing down through the Holy Spirit as the Most High has commanded us to do. But the people can't see it. Because they're, 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 they're gone in, in, in Bishop Nate's celebrity status. Verse 10 says what? Make the heart of this people fat and make their eyes heavy and shut their eyes. Lest they see with their eyes and hear with their, and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert it and be healed. And the Most High doesn't want it. A lot of our people to get this truth because it's, hey, like Yahweh Shah said, it's only for you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Unto them it's not given. The mystery, the mysterion, is only given to who? The initiated. The first fruits, which are the 144,000 and that great multitude, the remnant. 
that the men of Great Millstone, beginning with our apostles and elders, always harp on, or harp on man. It's all about the remnant of Israel. It's all about the elect. The elect are the only ones who are going to get it. So if you're taken in this bullshit that Bishop Nate is speaking out of his mouth, it's because you are not of the elect, man. If you really think Esau is about to break out of captivity after 1,000 years in the kingdom of heaven and go into the Caucasus Mountains, manufacture weapons of war and come in war against us in our kingdom while we're in our rest, according to what the Most High has promised us, you out of your goddamn mind and the Most High is giving you over to strong delusion, man. Got these clowns over there co-signing this bullshit that this dude is speaking, man. And you should have known he was off the first time he told you the name of the Lord don't matter. That should have been that should have been uh, a fucking alarm going off in your spirit. Nah, hell nah, this ain't right. How do I know that? Because when I when I was first coming in, I was listening to IUIC every day, watching their videos, and I came across one of their camp heads, the head of Charlotte. I don't know if he's still the head of Charlotte, the fat head dude. You see. And somebody asked him about the name of the Lord. This man sat there with a straight face and said, the name of the Lord don't matter. And 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 I, like I said, I'm brand new in the truth. I'm just finding out. And, and, and my first reaction to, to what he said was, hell nah, that's not right. That that, that can't be right. The, the Almighty's name don't matter. The creator of the heavens and the earth, his name don't matter. God's name doesn't matter. That should have been your first Sign to see that those guys over there at the IUIC is not right, man. But if you're still following that, it's because the Most High gave you over to it. If you really got a thing that you can call the Most High whatever you want to call them and break these scriptures down any way you want to break them down, the Most High is giving you over to that strong delusion, man. You see, and how long will you be given over to that? Verse 11 says what? Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitants. And the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. So if it's the most high's will for you to stay blinded, you're going to stay blinded until America is completely destroyed with that nuclear fire, man. You see, that's going to come in the midst of World War III, which is brewing up as we speak. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> 1 Corinthians 4 and, 30, uh, and 3. 1 Corinthians 4 and 2 Corinthians Four and three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. You see? If you can't get what the men of Great Millstone is teaching, you see, and, and the brothers who come in the same spirit as Great Millstone teaching the same doctrine as Great Millstone, if you can't get this gospel, this good news, uh, a good news that what we will never be oppressed again, and once Yahweh Shah comes to bring us into that glory, you see, we're going to have all power, authority, and dominion in the earth to rule over the heathen nations in righteousness. And we're going to be the supreme powers on the earth forevermore. If you can't understand that, it's because the gospel of the Most High is here from you. You are lost, man. If you really think that in our kingdom, Esau is going to escape captivity and, and then come back with weapons of war to wage, to wage war against us. Hey, man, you are lost, man. Once we're taken out of captivity this final time, no nation will ever rise up against us, man. Don't the most I tell you that, that, that violence shall no more, no more be heard in thy land? Don't the, don't the prophecy tell you that the most I is going to make a, a, a covenant of everlasting peace with his people? If you can't understand that, it's because you're lost, man. And the most High has blinded your mind. 2 Corinthians 4 and 3 says what? But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach Yahawashah, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. And this is why there is no light in the IUIC. You see? They've been blinded by the God of this world. You see that? This is why they don't want to come to Yahawashah. This is why the name don't matter to them. This is why they're talking about some goddamn... Most high and Christ bless. You see, they are blind leaders of the blind. Right along with ISUPK and GOCC and HOC and HOI, whoever else who ain't doing it right, man. Moving on. Second Thessalonians 2 and 10 says what? 
and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. You see, in having the true names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shah, is a part of the love of the truth. Because it tells you that all those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How you, how you going to call upon his name if his name don't matter? You see? The love of the, the, the truth, the love of the truth is what? We're going to be taken out of captivity and we're going to be put above all nations forevermore. We're going to be up we going to be in our in the height of our glory up under the second covenant and those righteous immortal bodies having the law, statutes, and commandments in us. We're going to be under the blessings and Esau is going to escape captivity, run off into the Caucasus Mountains, manufact, manufacturing all type of all type of firearms and ammunition to come and wage war upon war upon us as we're up under the curses in the I mean as we're up under the blessings in the kingdom of heaven. What in the what the fuck? You see? Having war waged against us is the reason we had war waged against us is because what we were falling up under the curses, man. No nation will wage war against us in the kingdom of heaven. We're gonna be up under the blessings. Having war waged against us is a part of the curse. And the curse is going to be done away with once Yahweh Shah comes to save the elect, man. If you can't understand that, you don't have you have not you haven't received the love of the truth, man. <laughs> it says what? And for this cause the most I shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And that's exactly what we see happening with these other camps out here, man. John the Baptist ain't in the truth. Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Shah is going to, uh, the Edomite is going to spin the block on Yahweh Shah in the kingdom of heaven. You see, when he, when he comes back to receive his kingdom, uh, uh, according to what the Most High has promised, the two-thirds is going to be, be burning in hell forever. They never going to be saved. Just going to be in the, in, 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 in the bottomless pit of hell burning forever while the heathen nations are going to be living it up on, in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the righteous kingdom of heaven. Up under the Israelites. Come on, man. Complete confusion. Complete confusion. No. All that BS that these other counts are spewing uh, is false, man. And if you're giving over to that, you've been what? You've been deceived by the most high. Don't it tell you that the deceiver and the, the deceiver and the deceiver are his? You see? For this cause, the most I shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And this is what you see. And the congregation of IUIC and the rest of these false churches, man. They're believing lies that the Most High has given unto, given unto them. It says what? That they might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. And this is what we're witnessing, man. This is exactly what we're witnessing. The Most High is giving you over to everything you want. You want to continue to follow these false leaders because they give you that feel-good doctrine. Ain't no tribulation coming. Ain't no Jacob's trouble. We're just going to be lie de die and we're going to go into the kingdom of heaven. Out of your fucking mind. Out of your mind. But once again, at the end of the day, it's all the Most High's will. And we know the Most High going to pull any any members of the uh, of the remnant about that, it that, that BS, man. And they're going to come to the true understanding. You see, and that's all. Hey, and we know it's going to happen. That's what we're hoping for. And we, we know it's going to happen. You know, I know so I know some 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 men and women over there in the other congregations scratching their heads when these false leaders are spewing all this madness they're spewing, man. And guess what? The time is gonna come when they're gonna come to the true teachings, believe upon it, and be sealed with the Holy Spirit of truth, to be sealed with uh to be uh to be yeah, sealed with the Holy Spirit of truth to be prepared for salvation when Yahweh Shah returns, man. But everyone else, if you're taking in that shit and you you fully a hey, the most I gave you over to that, man. You see? Because you were none of his. So Lord willing now, hey, just wanted to put it out real quick. I had some I just did a video, wanted to do another one because that was something I was thinking about as I had finished that one. But yeah, man. This is all the most high's will. All of those people following those false doctrines, the most high gave that gave them over to that, man. We, we we shouldn't feel no type of way about it. We know what it is according to the Holy Spirit. So with that, I'm going to end up by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible.
through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of Le'akim out there, pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai has created us to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Abba,